Now, time for Fox Carolina weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. And there's a look at some of the uh, parts of the system that are on its way here. It's not going to really do much at the start. We're going to see clouds move in throughout the day tomorrow and then eventually the rain. So that's what you see over parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas. That stuff's moving our way. Nothing really too intense about it. But as you can see, clouds pressing eastward, leaving us mostly clear for the time being. Looking at future casts, as you can see, skies stay clear the rest of the night. Safe to say we'll wake up to some sunny skies during the morning. But as you can see, during the afternoon and evening, clouds begin pressing in from from the west. So that's going to cloud up the sky for the second half of our day. And looking at 7 a.m. Tuesday, we'll probably start with some showers in the mountains, but safe to say the upstate should be dry at this point. But as you can see, those showers try to make their way into the upstate during the afternoon and evening. It'll be a classic case where some of these showers get drained by dry air by the time they get to the upstate. But safe to say there will be showers during the afternoon and evening on Tuesday in the upstate northeast Georgia. So not really anything intense, but just prepare to dodge a little bit of rain from time to time. 35 will be our low temperature in the upstate tonight. Mountains, it's 33 for you. It's a little bit cold to start your day on Monday. But as I said, enjoy the sunshine in the morning because we're not going to have much of it the rest of the week. 66, your high temperature in the upstate, 62 in the mountains. So overall, really not too bad of a day Monday, but the second half, really not anything to write home about. So we can't quite rate it a perfect 10. We'll go with a 9 out of 10 on the Carolina Sky Meter for your Monday. Temperature trend looks like this. We'll stay above average Monday and Tuesday despite the increased cloud cover. And then after Tuesday's showers, we actually get a boost up to the lower 70s both Wednesday and Thursday. Not expecting too much rain as this week system passes by, so that might even leave us with a little bit of sunshine. But regardless, we'll still have a decent wind in our favor to the point where temperatures will be able to make it above 70 degrees. Now here's what our rain looks like this week. It's really not too much. As you can see, dry Monday and then Tuesday looking at the grand scale. Not really too much. As you can see, our boundary sort of stalls, and then we get showers moving in and out. Decent chance of rain for Wednesday night, Thursday morning, but as you can see, it's just very sporadic, very intermittent, and really not too intense, really, any given day. So best way to put the next about uh, two, the Tuesday to Saturday, Sunday time frame is just going to be on, on and off rain, and uh, really nothing too intense. Not a lot of sunshine either, although I wouldn't be surprised to see a few episodes of sun here and there. So here's what the seven-day forecast looks like, and I'll tell you right now that our long Long range models are very different. Some have us really dry, some have us uh, having showers every day. So this is sort of meeting them both in the middle right now. As you can see, better chance for rain Tuesday, but as you can see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a non zero chance for rain. So sort of spotty to isolated rain expected as highs hit the low 70s Wednesday through Friday, and then we'll get some cooler air moving in Saturday and Sunday. We'll up those rain chances a tiny, tiny bit Saturday into Sunday, but any given day is not looking like a washout. Not looking like a severe weather threat or any flood threat as well. We'll let you know if anything changes.